Hey guys, today we're going to see how our Git WooCommerce subscription plugin works and we're going to learn how to create subscription-based products. Before we get into it, let me remind you of course to like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell down below so that you know every time we have a new video for you. Now let's get to it. So here's the site that I'm going to be using for this video. I haven't activated the plugin yet, so that's the first thing we're going to do. Let's go to the dashboard, plugins, install plugins, and I'm going to look for my subscription plugin. Activate. Great, so my eBookcomer subscription premium plugin has been activated. Now I'm going to create my first subscription based product. Let's say that I want to sell a subscription to a box of Italian products. So a customer can purchase this subscription and receive a box of Italian products every month. Let's go to products, add new. The first thing we have to do, of course, is give this product a name and the short description. Now we need to indicate that this is a subscription based product. So we have to go to the product data tab and we need to check this box subscription there. This way we're adding to this product all of the features related to a subscription. So once I clicked on the subscription checkbox, all of these options appear. These are all of the options that we can enable and use to create our own subscription based product. That's why it's really important to check this box because if we uncheck this, the options disappear and the product is not linked to a subscription. Let's check this again. Now this product's regular price is going to be $25. We want to send this box once a month to the customer. To do that, we need to set the duration of each subscription period right here on the first option under subscription settings. This is the length of each recurring subscription period, okay? And this can be set to days, weeks, months, or years. Since I said once a month, I'm going to set this to one month. The following option, subscription ends, lets us choose a duration for the whole subscription. And we have two options here, never or set an end time. So for example, we could decide to send the box once a month, but only for six months. So the subscription would last only for six months. If after those months, a customer liked the subscription box and wants to get it for another six months, he's going to have to order it again. Let's set this up for six months. We're going to click here on set an end time and we're going to choose six months. This here, is related to what you choose here. So I'm seeing months here because I selected months. If I change this to weeks, I'm going to have weeks. If I change this to years, I'm going to see years, okay? Back to months. But let's say that maybe I do not want to set an end date and I want to send that subscription box forever, every month, as long as the customer wants to receive it. So. If he doesn't want to receive it anymore, he can stop the subscription. He can cancel that. So let's change this to never. The following option, offer a trial period, allows us to offer a free trial period. So the customer will be able to order the subscription, get his trial period, and then pay when the free trial period is over. We can set this in days, weeks, months, or years. I'm going to set this to seven days. So this will be a seven days free trial period. The customer will pay for the subscription once those seven days are over. So if he keeps the subscription active by then, he'll pay for the subscription. If he decides to cancel the subscription before the trial period is over, he won't have to pay for the subscription. Now in the following option, I can add a sign up fee. So customers will be able to get that trial period, but they will have to pay. So let's enable this and let's set the sign up fee to $5. So this is of course cheaper than the actual subscription price, but the customer will have to pay a fee of $5 in order to get that free trial period. Now the following option allows us to add restrictions to this subscription based product. Okay, let's enable this option and 
I have these restrictions, okay? So if this one is disabled, the customer will be able to buy this product as many times as he wants to. But for instance, I can enable this and choose limit user to allow only one active subscription. So the customer can only have one subscription with the free trial period. Otherwise, if I didn't have this restriction, the customer could order this twice and get the free trial period twice. And we can also limit the user to allow only one subscription of any status, either active or not. I'm going to disable this and then we have the option to set pausing rules for the product, okay? Of course, it says override global pausing settings because we do have pausing settings under the plugins journal settings. But by clicking here, I'm going to create my own settings for this specific product. First option is no never, so customers won't be able to pause the subscription. The second option is yes, user can pause without limits. That means that the customer can pause the subscription as many times as he wants to for as long as he wants to. And the third option, yes, user can pause with certain limits, allows us to set some restrictions for that. For example, the user can pause the subscription for a maximum of, let's say we're going to let them pause the subscription for a maximum of two times, okay, so twice. And each pause can have a duration for a maximum of five days. This means that after those five days are over, the subscription will be automatically activated again. It's different from what he could do if I clicked here. If I simply gave the customers the option to pause the subscriptions without restrictions, they would be able to pause the subscription and then they would have to reactivate the subscription manually. Okay. And the last option, override global cancellation settings. So once again, we already have these cancellation settings in the plugins dashboard, but here we can override those settings for this specific product. So if I enable this, I get this other option, allow users to cancel this subscription. We're not going to activate that right now. So as you can see, it is very easy to configure the product here. We're going to complete this product. We're going to add an image there and i'm going to publish let's view that product okay so here's the subscription box we created here's my image my title italian food subscription box it's worth 25 dollars a month and here it mentions the seven days free trial plus the sign up fee of five dollars Customers can subscribe to this by clicking here on subscribe. This will add the subscription box to the card and then they will move on to the checkout. Now let's head over to the plugins dashboard, ETH, subscription, general settings. Here I can configure all of the options related to the subscription based products I have in my shop. There are a lot of options here, but I wanted to show you one in particular. You might be wondering what happens if the customer doesn't pay the subscription. Here's an option to decide what happens if the recurring payment is not paid. Let's say a customer ordered the subscription box we created in this video and he paid the first, the second and the third month, but then on the fourth month, he didn't pay the recurring payment. So here we have this already set up like this. After 48 hours, of the recurring payment not being paid, the subscription will be put in a suspended status for 20 days before canceling the subscription. This way, the plugin will handle subscriptions that are not paid for, okay? So here you can set this up. Here you can choose how to manage the subscriptions that are not being paid. Now let's move on to the customization tab. Here we can change all the labels and colors of the subscription-based products in the product page, in the card and checkout pages, for the subscription status, and in the subscription section in my account. You'll have 100% of control as an admin 
in the labels and colors. Let's change something. Right now, the label I have for the button that's usually the add to cart is subscribe for any subscription based products. But I'm going to change that here. And I'm going to add this, okay? Save options, back to the product. I'm going to refresh here. There, so now it says subscribe now. Now my customers are going to see this button when they're thinking about subscribing to this product. We could also hide the trial period text. Let me go back to the dashboard and here it is. Here's the text and here's the option to show or hide the trial period by just disabling this option. Save. Back to this site, refresh. There, so now I don't have the free trial text. Let me go back and I'm going to show that trial period text again. And this time I'm going to change the color to red. Back to the site, refresh. And there I have my text in red. So those are some of the many, many options you have with our Yid WooCommerce subscription plugin. Okay guys, so that's how you can create subscription-based products with our plugin. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and we'll meet again for our next video.